Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to start a Minecraft Bedrock server. This has been a long time coming. This is going to be able to be joined by Minecraft Windows 10 and Minecraft Pocket Edition. Basically, if you're on your phone or on the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, you'll be able to join this. There's also a Java edition of Minecraft. If you want to start a Java server, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen and it'll show you how to do that. But this is for a Bedrock server. Now, one thing I will say here is you do need a Windows computer to do this. So you will need a computer, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a PC, you will need a computer and it will need to have some pretty good specs or at least some okay specs to be able to run the server. Now, the server can be live and joinable from your phone, but your computer does need to be running. Additionally, this server is only meant for your friends and family because this is going to be ran off of your own IP address, and if someone gets your IP address, well, they can do many, many bad things with it, including figure out where you live, take your internet offline, and make it slow by DDoSing you, and, and many, many other things. So it's very, very important you only give this to people you trust. Now, if you don't have a computer like this, right, if you don't have a Windows computer, or you want to be able to give your server to everybody, I recommend Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome Minecraft bedrock server to play with you and your friends. It's an awesome setup and it's only going to cost you a few bucks a month. I would recommend a two gigabyte server for a bedrock server. So go over there to Apex, purchase a server, couple bucks a month, easy setup, and you'll be playing on your server. It is literally under five minutes to get your server up and running. Whereas you can see, this video is much, much longer. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, here we are on this page, right? And how do you get to this page? We go to the second link in the description down below. We're actually gonna be using those links in the description down below quite a bit. So, first and foremost, once you're here, we need to find server software for Windows. You see that? Then we wanna come down here to where I click, you see I agree, right? Click on that and then click on download. It will then download server dash bedrock you see where it says that once that's downloaded and you may have to keep this file so click keep if you do now once we minimize our browser we will see right up here in the top left for me we have this bedrock server download folder now if this isn't on your desktop don't freak out go ahead and click on the windows icon it's in the top left for me it's probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that click on this windows icon top left for me bottom left for you and then type in downloads exactly like that you'll then have this folder right here named downloads click on that and most likely minecraft bedrock will be here in your downloads folder, drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, we want to go ahead and right click on it and then we want to extract all right here. So click on that and then click on extract. It'll then go ahead, download, do some things, extract the file. It's actually not downloading anything. It's just extracting the file. And once that's done, I will meet you. There we go. This is finishing on up. As we can see, did a little bit of a horseshoe sort of thing there. And it will open up this. Once we're in here, we want to just go ahead and click on bedrock underscore server dot exe. Just double click on that and it will go ahead and open this up. If it doesn't open this up, don't freak out, but most likely it will. Go ahead and click on more info and click on run anyway. This this is from Minecraft.net. That's where you downloaded this from. It is 100% safe. Then you want to come in here and do allow Minecraft to communicate with the private networks and public networks. Click allow access again there. And then it will go ahead and get the server up. Now, as we can see, very, very quick server started right there. It is the server is up. Now we can go ahead and stop this server. And actually you could join this server if you wanted to, you could join it locally, but not really anyone else, right? Just you could join this server and that's kind of lonely. So let's go ahead and stop the server. Just type STOP and hit enter in the server window over there and it will close out of itself. Now what we want to do is go to the top left on my screen, the bottom left on your screen. There's going to be this little Windows icon. You see that? And then go ahead and type in CMD. And here we want to go ahead and right click on it and run it as an administrator. And then you want to type in IPCONFIG. IPConfig, all one word exactly like that. IPConfig and hit enter. It'll give you this information here. And we specifically want to take note of our IPv4 address and our default gateway. We'll need both of them later. Now let's go ahead and and take that default gateway, open our browser back up, and then go to a new tab. Then we want to type that default gateway in right here. In my case, 192.168.1.1. Yours might be completely different or the exact same as mine. Go ahead and then hit enter and you'll be landing on a page that looks exactly or most likely completely different like this. We're about to port forward to allow people to join your server. Now this isn't difficult because I've helped millions of people port forward in the past. I know what to look for, but if you don't even know how to log into your router, as you can see, mine just auto logged me in. If you are on a page that looks like this and this is a page what you'll be on, you'll be on a login screen and you'll be like, I have no clue what to log in with right here. Well, no worries. We have an article for you 
right here how to find your router's password start with number one right up here and walk through everything right like that it is worth noting that you do not need to port forward on an apex minecraft hosting server so if you're having an issue port forwarding you can always get a server through apex and then just join with the simple ip they give you but nevertheless go through all of this here and by the time you get down here to method five you will find your router's password go ahead and enter in here and log in give me one moment there we go we are logging on in here and again you'll most likely be on a screen that looks completely different from this just like the login screen look completely different your login screen might have just been a box that popped up from the top right whatever your screen looks like no worries we're looking for the same thing and that is port forwarding now it might be called different on your router it might be something completely differently named on your router and that's why we have this tutorial linked in the description down below this video specifically goes through port forwarding on all of the top routers out there and if your router isn't included in that video most likely it is named very similar to something in that video I tried to pick a wide range with a bunch of different names in order to help you find it no matter what router you have but on our router we're looking in security for you it might be an apps in gaming it might be a nat gaming nat gaming it might be a nat forwarding it might just be a nat it might be port forwarding slash port triggering it might be in security on netgear it is in advanced and then you have to go into admin or advanced again but for us it is in security and then we want to go ahead and click on apps and gaming for me again yours may be an apps and gaming it might be a nat gaming it might be a nat and apps, whatever it is, go ahead and click on apps and gaming there. And then I need to click on single port forwarding. For you, it might just be called port forwarding. It might, you might already be there if you're on your router, but basically we're looking for this. So once we're here, we want to go ahead and add a new port forward. You might just have a list of a bunch of different like blank boxes. That's fine. But for application name, I'm going to call this a bedrock server because uh, I've already got the default Java port forwarded there. For our port, we are going to put this 19. 13219132 and for anything involving port period you are going to put that in 19132 that's what you put in for anything that mentions port. For your protocol, you need to do TCP slash UDP or UDP slash TCP or both. You want to make sure both of them are selected. For your device IP, this is going to be that IPv4 address we pulled up earlier. As you can see, right there it is, 192.168.1.1.23. We're going to type that in right there, .1.123, exactly like that. Go ahead and click Save, click Apply, and your port forward is done. It's that simple. It is not difficult. You might also have device IP being called internal IP, and you might also have an external IP. If you have an external IP, no worries. We need to get that anyway. So if you have that in your port forward, here's how you find it. Go to the link in the description down below, just like everything else has been linked down below, and click here. It'll take you here. And on this screen, there's a black box over the first numbers of my IP address. Because again, as I said in the front of the video, this is just for your friends and family. You don't want to give it out to everybody publicly, like on the internet. And tutorial and then you can also see over here that people can figure out where you live from your IP address so that is something you need to keep in mind and make sure that you know you take care of there's a black box there for me but not a big deal for you if you're seeing that but again give it to people you trust and you've got nothing to worry about once you've got that set up there though we can go ahead and copy this IP address now for some of you you will need to take it back over to your port forward and put it as your external IP and then go ahead and save your port forward for me though I don't have that so again I want to click apply click OK now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft now I'm gonna be doing this on our PC here so if we go ahead and open up Minecraft Windows 10 edition you can also join this from your phone and I'll show you how to do that here in a second but we're gonna join it from Windows 10 just for good measure. Let's go ahead and click play here and then we need to start our server. I just realized the server wasn't started. So let's go back over and just minimize our browser. That's the easiest thing we can do. So we come over here and double click on bedrock underscore server. It will open up the server there and if we actually click on friends up here we'll be able to see that a dedicated server does exist there. You can go ahead and click on that and we will see it player connected right there it is and that is us in the server. Now once you're in the server this is cool but that's not how your friends are going to join. It's just not. So if we go ahead and save and quit here, your friend is going to join in a bit of a different way. And I'm going to switch over to our phone to show you that. First and foremost, though, I will say you will add your 
your friends will add your server in the servers tab. They won't be in the friends tab. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and add it on our phone. So here we are on the main menu of Minecraft on our phone. This could also be on your tablet. This could also even be your friend's Windows 10 edition. It's going to all look the same. Go ahead and click play there. And then we want to come over here to where it says servers. Now we have these featured servers, but we're not going to show up there. We want to go ahead and click on add server. We can name this whatever we want. I'm just going to name this my space server. And then for our server address, we can go ahead and type in that public IP address we found earlier. For us, that is going to be blocked out because I don't want you guys to you know, be able to use that. So whenever I've typed this in, I'll jump cut to the end where you can see the last few digits so I'm not cheating you. There we go. As you can see, the last digits are in fact the same. And then if we click off of that, we want to leave the port the same as it is and click play. Now we can go ahead and connect and I'll show you in game that we have in fact connected as well. You can see in the bottom corner down there, the console is showing up. Yes, that is us in game. Now this is actually going to be in the same exact spot that we were at because, well, we were, you know, in game just a second ago on our computer. But yeah, there you go. You now have a Minecraft dedicated bedrock server set up. We can start mining blocks, for example, and having some fun. So there we go. And place that block back there, and there you go. So yeah, that is basically it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a ton to me. If you have any troubles with this server, there's most likely an issue with your port forward, or there is an issue with a firewall on your computer blocking the connection. We had to deal with that at the front end, so you might have to go and disable that, or there's a firewall on your router blocking the port forward, and it could also be your antivirus. If this has been too difficult for you, they can always get a server on thebreakdown.xyz slash apex, first link down below. For a few bucks a month, you can get an awesome Bedrock server and play with your friends. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching this video again. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. And subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.